In this introduction, we want to define a differential equation, look at some notation used when discussing differential equations, and discuss some defining characteristics of differential equations. So we start with a differential equation, uh, sometimes DE, uh, is an equation containing the derivatives of one or more functions or dependent variables with respect to one or more independent variables. So really, we can think of a differential equation as just being an equation with a differential or a derivative in it. So uh, next, we have some common notation here, and we'll start with Leibniz notation, where dx dt means the derivative of the dependent variable x with respect to the independent variable t. And then we have second derivatives and third derivatives and so on next to that. We also have our prime notation. Uh, so if we understand what uh, variable we are deriving with respect to already, and that is clear, then we can use prime notation here, just x prime for the first derivative, x double prime for the second derivative, and so on. For Partial derivatives, we have this other notation, our partial notation. Uh, if we have the function u with respect to two independent variables, uh, t and s, we can take the derivative of u, either the derivative, the second derivative of u with respect to t here on this uh, first one, or we can take the second derivative of u uh, first with respect to s and then with respect to t on the second one here. And then we have, uh, similarly, we can have our subscript notation, u sub t t for the partial derivative of u with respect to t, and then with respect to t again, or the partial derivative of u with respect to t first, and then second uh, s second uh, for that uh, second one here. There are two main types of differential equations. We have the ordinary differential equations, which this the top two notations related to that, uh, where we have only one independent variable. And then we have partial differential equations uh, where we have two more or more independent variables. And the second pair of uh, notation descriptions up there uh, describes those. I'll skip ahead to a quick remark. This course is going to focus entirely on ODEs and uh, typically denote the independent variable by T. Uh, but that's not always the case. So some quick examples. These are all examples of ODEs, dx dt plus 5x is equal to e to the T, and so on. And then, of course, we have some examples of PDEs here. One other defining characteristic of our differential equations is the order of a differential equation, and that is the order of the highest derivative in the equation. So if we look at this first example here, dx dt plus 5x equal to e to the t, then we see that the highest derivative is our first derivative. So our order is one or first order. So often we'll write first order. Or you can just denote that if, with a one if it is clear what is being asked. Uh, but these are called first order differential equations. Right. And for B, we have the second derivative of x with respect to t minus the first derivative of x with respect to t plus 6x is equal to 0. So we see that B is second order. And C is again first order because the highest. Uh, derivative is the first derivative of any of our dependent variables. All right, and that's it for order. 
Now, what are we actually trying to do when we solve a differential equation, right? So a differential equation is just a, an equation with a derivative in it. So what are we trying to do? We're actually just trying to find out what the original equation is. That is our goal when we want to solve a differential equation. So how can we verify that a function is a solution to a given differential equation? Well, to do that, we just want to plug in that equation into our differential equation. So we may notice here that we have the function, the differential equation, excuse me, x double prime minus 2x prime plus x is equal to 3t minus 8. And we have the given equation, x is equal to t, e to the t plus 3t minus 2. So let's plug that in to this function over here. Well, to do that, we need to know what x double or x prime is. So we'll take our first derivative here. The derivative of t e to the t is t e to the t plus e to the t using our product rule. Then we derive 3t, which is just 3. Uh, and that's our derivative. Then we have x double prime. So the derivative of t e to the t is again, t e to the t plus e to the t using our product rule. Then we have the derivative of e to the t, which is just e to the t. And so we end up with t e to the t plus two e to the t. And there is our first and second derivative. Then we need to plug all of this in to our expression here. So we get our second derivative, which is t e to the t plus 2 e to the t minus 2 times our first derivative, which is t e to the t plus e to the t plus 3 plus the original equation, which is t e to the t plus 3t minus 2. And let's see what this equals. All right, well, we have a t e to the t here, a t e to the t here, and negative 2t e, e to the t there. So those all cancel. We have a positive 2e to the t here and a negative 2e to the t here when our negative 2 distributes. Then we are left with 3t minus 2 minus another 6 here. So this is minus 8. And we see that, in fact, we get 3t minus 8 on the right. So x equal to t e to the t plus 3t minus 2 does, in fact, solve this differential equation. And that's where we'll end this first video.